Broncos. Colts coming up today at Lucas Oil Stadium, which of course is the home of the Colts and was the home of Super Bowl 46. So that means Marquise Goodwin will be back for the opening kick. Matt Prater has teed it up for the opening kickoff. The quarterback, already the winner of two Super Bowl titles and competed in a third, Ben Roethlisberger, who has the credentials to one day land in Canton, Ohio. First down at the 20. They'll go ground. That brings the play to an end. And the offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in bunches. Offense lines up here. Second down and nine. He's looking to the right here on this throw. For the defense today, one of the best shutdown corners in the game today, a key to lead. Yeah, he is. Uh, I think he's one of the top corners in the National Football League. And what makes him so unique, of course, he can cover receivers anywhere on the field, but he has great size for a corner. That makes him doubly tough to go against. Got the hand up into the sky, and that means fair catch. And here is Peyton Manning coming off statistically the most spectacular season any quarterback has ever enjoyed, setting records for over 5,400 yards passing and 55 touchdowns, leading to another MVP award. We all know Peyton Manning, six foot six. He can play tall, he can make the throws, but what gets lost is the fact that he can shuffle those feet around and get himself some extra time. Offensive lineup includes tight end Julius Thomas, a former college basketball player at Portland State. Yeah, how about that transition? He plays one year of football at Portland State, becomes a fourth-round draft pick, and then he just has an outstanding year in 2013. He is a terrific athlete. The Broncos have it at the 39. Manning with the give, and it's Samuel there to meet him. Let's take a look now at the defensive starting unit. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. The Broncos will approach this play from out of the pistol. for the sack and they're going to be punting after a short series when you put on third down you hope to get to the quarterback here's why because there are less defensive backs back there the chances of giving up the big play are pretty high but the rush they're quick enough they get there and they sack the QB wants to give it a go here he stacked up at that point first down offense readying for the snap Roethlisberger with the give games 11 Colts offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Now first and ten. The Colts now move the chains.
Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Let's see how they back up the big play here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The Colts get a first down. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. To the ground. And he's brought to the ground. The Colts offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. They call his number once more. Picks up eight here. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. This will be second down. That defensive front looks here impenetrable here on the goal line. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Colts getting set for the point after. He made it. Colts are ready to kick it away. And he'll start his return. Stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Broncos bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Offense lines up here. Manning out of the gun. The defense gets the set. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. Second down now. The Colts come out in the nickel. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. And there's Welker. That picks up seven. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Third and ten. Here's the handoff and no running. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. The Colts are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Set up, return. Here he goes. That's a gain of seven. The Colts getting ready now to start their drive. Split backfield here. First down at the 45. He'll throw it over the middle. On the money. Nice tackle. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Nickel formation for the defense here. First and ten. Set up screen. And that'll gain just a few yards. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. 
Ben Roethlisberger will take the snap out of the gun. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Should have been, could have been intercepted that time by Moore. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game that can be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop of the defense. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back and makes the grab. Touchdown. Well, good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. The Colts now will tack on the extra point. And the extra point is good. The Colts were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. And no return here, so Manning will start this drive from the 20. The Broncos come onto the field now for this next series. Ball lines up in the backfield. First down at the 20. Hand off. And the tackle is made by James Harrison. That leads us to second down. So that's going to do it for the first half. Colts are up here in this one. We'll be back with our halftime report after the break. Welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back now at the first half. The Colts right now are doing a good job protecting their house. The Broncos know it's always hard to come in and get a win on the road, but they're not out of this one yet. All right, let's get it going. Let's roll those first half highlights. Now to late in the first, middle of the field, the pass will be caught. And he'll end up at the 35-yard line before being tackled. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. And no return this time as he takes a knee. First down coming up. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. And that's a gain of maybe five. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Tight end in motion. The Broncos will take the snap from the 25. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, I don't know who to blame here or give credit to. Blame the quarterback for not changing the protection or just give a lot of credit. Well, that's where I'm going. What a job by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they get to the QB with the blitz and take him down. Third down on the way. They come out in the dime package. Manning from the gun. And that pass is picked by Carlos Rogers. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. First down here. The defense comes out in the nickel from the shotgun. It's out of bounds incomplete. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Nickel formation here for the defense. Interception that time by Harris. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. They're down and 10. They go screen with Bell. And he heads to the sidelines out of bounds. 
This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. The Broncos offense now coming out. First down and 10. Ball comes out. They recover their own fumble. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football. When the defense is going to play safe and they don't want you to run by them, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards the sideline and the quarterback stick it in there. Third and long. Looking across the middle. Can't find a mark. And this is going to bring up fourth down. Short series this time for the offense. The Broncos will have to punt. He's going to try and return this punt. That's a tackle right near the 48. They face first down. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. He'll pick up seven this time. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good positive run an extra tight end on the field for this one the Colts will take the snap from the 45 and he's tackled at the 34 yard line I think the coach on the sidelines he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock when you're up like this multiple scores in the second half every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game we're back only two minutes remain in this one First down at the 34. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Touchdown, Indianapolis. To me, still one of the most exciting plays in NFL football. A long running play for a touchdown. And how about that one? It had it all in its speed. Good moves, good blocks. Exciting touchdown. The Colts getting set for the point after. The point after try is in the books. The Colts kicking team comes out. Their offense now has some time to rest after picking up over 50 yards on the ground on that last drive. Fields the football at the three. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Broncos get ready to start their drive. Manning comes out in the pistol. The Broncos from the 22. Space to work. Gets about nine on the play. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. Second down here. The defense comes out of the dime. Out of the gun. Connects with Thomas. Taken down at the 39. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. The defense gets a sack. 
Coming up, second down. Quickly to the line. From the shotgun. And he's taken down once more for the sack. The Broncos call a timeout and are left now with only one. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the time. Takes it from the gun. Asante Samuel has his hands on it. In on the stop. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback size. They got in position, and they made the interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. He'll run it. Here's the handoff. Picked up a couple that time. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second and goal from the four. Handoff made. Gets about four yards that time. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You've got to do the dirty work in this. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. What a job by the offense. So little time left to drive down the field and score. That just ices the game. Nice job by the whole football team today, but especially on the offensive side. Raider is ready to run up and kick this football. Taking no chances here with the squib kick. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. So I think it always gives you a better chance of winning the following week because you feel so good when you're out there in that practice field. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game. Coming up today at Lucas Oil Stadium, which of course is the home of the Colts and was the home of Super Bowl 46. So now as we go to the field, it's Marquise Goodwin back deep for the kickoff. 
the Eagles setting up here for the kickoff. Ben Roethlisberger, his nickname, of course, is Big Ben, and he deserves it. He is one big dude playing the quarterback position, a terrific thrower, and moves around and makes plays. Tackle made by Cox that time. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage, look out, they'll throw it over the top. They better hurry to get the snap. Here's the handoff. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. Offense lines up here. Midway through the first. It's intercepted! Breaks free, has some space to work with. Tackles made. Starting at quarterback, the young man that Chip Kelly entrusted with his high-speed offense, Nick Foles. I think Nick Foles last year showed everybody what a quarterback he could be in this league. 27 touchdowns, two interceptions. He was outstanding. Offense lines up here. First down at the 15. McCoy for a gain of about five. Taking a look at this offensive unit. Riley Cooper has become a big-time option now in this offense. Yeah, Riley Cooper showed everybody he can play the outside receiver position. And if you need him, he can come in inside and play the slot. That's what you want. You want versatile players so you can create more opportunities for everybody on the offensive side. Here's a look at the defense with its ball-hawking secondary. Third down and five. Time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's of course that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. The Colts are ready to return the kick. the 28-yard line. The Colts offense now marches onto the field. The Eagles go with the dime formation here on defense. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. I thought that was going to be a completion that time, but the hit knocked the ball out. Well, let me say this about your thought. You were wrong. Once again, Jim Nance. And the timing was wonderful. That's what it is. That's what it takes. Just like you and your job. Good timing by the defender that time. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. On the way, third down. The Eagles sat at the line. Dime package out of the shotgun. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger. Nice catch. He's brought to a halt. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. First down here after the completion. This play set up by the long gainer. First down following the long play. Throw to the left. Unbelievable catch. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Gets the handle here. And pick up about four. 
Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump. And he's across for the touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Colts are ready to kick it away. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. First down here. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Was made. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Setting up screen. Pulls it in. Gains 13. Hard to throw the football down the field once you get into the red zone. That time the quarterback, well, he knows that. And he looks down there. Nobody open deep. Throws it short. And they get a nice solid pickup on that play call. And they are in on bow. The Colts call a timeout. Their first. Second down coming up. Here. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across for just a couple of yards out. You want to make your coach happy? Have the lead and have your offense just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. The Colts defense will be ready to come back out in a moment. The offense making sure their efforts weren't wasted on the last drive. Making good on the interception and putting points on the scoreboard. He's not going to test the coverage this time. It'll come out to the 20. The Eagles are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. Foles takes a look now from under center. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Second down here after that run play. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We welcome you in now for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Colts are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Eagles just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Welcome back to Lucas Oil Stadium. Jim Nance and Bill Sims at the booth. Danielle Bellini down at the sidelines at the third quarter is about to get started. Johnson won't test the coverage as he'll take the touchback instead and the ball comes out to the 20. The Eagles bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. The defense comes out in the nickel. Here we go, the first snap of the second half. And he's taken down. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. Drop back, shotgun formation. And he's taken down once more for the sack. 
There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having offensive linemen getting driven back in his way. That time, the right side of the line collapses, and it leads to a sack of the QB. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. Foles will take it from the gun. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. He'll have a chance for a return. Games 12. The Colts are ready to take over now, and their offense heads on to the field. First down at the 46. Will go ground. That's Cole making the stop. That's second down coming up. The give. Looking for some daylight up the middle. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. The Colts offensive line is just moving some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. Let's go. The Colts snap it at the 31. He's going to get another carry. Tackle made by Farwin that time. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. The third quarter comes to a close and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And here we have second down. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Keeps it here to Davis. The tackle is made and the first down is picked up. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. They'll go ground. As 12 on this play. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the game. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Offense lines up here. First and goal. Gets it again. They bring him to the turf. The defense stops the clock. They'll try over again on second down. Nickel formation here for the defense. Takes another handoff. Power surge. Touchdown. Well, you got a lead to drive down the field to score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. The Colts getting set for the point after. And the point after is good. The Eagles now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 21 to 3. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. The Eagles are set now for their next possession. It's an empty backfield for Foles this time. They'll go shotgun here. And he's forced to the ground. Second down coming up. Holding on to the timeout. They'll rush back to the line. Foles takes it from the gun. And they get to him again. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. And they overcome the sack. Third down on the way. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. 
Brent Selig makes the catch. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. We'll see what he can do here. Brought down after a gain of 15. It's first down as they head to the line. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. To the ground. Picks up maybe three. It's about managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you have to be predictable. You have the lead. You're trying to get rid of the clock. you got to run. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. It'll be third down. And this will probably wrap things up here. Roethlisberger, play action. Touchdown at the end. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. You've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality and for you at the booth you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today in prime time <laughs> that's right it's all about me and it would have been if i could have just got you to be quiet for a few minutes but it's awesome to win in a game that's featured in everybody in the country all your peers they watch you it just doesn't get better Marquise Goodwin will be back for the opening kick. And Josh Scobie looks set now to kick it away. Roethlisberger is the reason why they call him big because he is he can sit in there take the hits and still throw that football down the field 
Offense lines up here. The Colts take it from the 33. Looking to go deep. Tough catch. Well, it's a big game by the offense, and that's what this league is about. We talk about so many things. Oh, play good defense, don't turn it over, but it's about big plays. You've got to take chances down the field. The quarterback was willing to do it that time, and he made it happen. The Colts take it from the 33. The Colts now move the chains. Well, the offense has done a good job getting down inside the 20 in the so-called red zone or green zone by some teams. But the defense, you can be a little more aggressive now because you don't have to worry about the length of the field. It is shortened, so take advantage of it and attack this offense a little more. And the offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in bunches. The Jaguars with a nickel look here on defense. Throws to the right. Catch is made by Dwayne Bowe. Let's take a look at the defense now and talk a bit about defensive tackle Red Bryant out of Texas A&M. Red Bryant had a lot to do with Seattle winning the Super Bowl last year against the Denver Broncos. He's a big defensive lineman that all defenses are looking for. He is going to be a force in every game. Jim, when you get down in the red zone, you have to be very careful as a quarterback not to turn the football over. Good decision that time by the quarterback. Gets the completion. He is in for the touchdown. love it as a quarterback you get down in there and it's first to go and you score now you don't have to sweat the fact that man what are we going to do if it gets to third down you don't have to worry about it good run nice touchdown driving extra point is good the Jags are ready to return the kick No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. He was the 57th pick in the 2008 draft by way of the University of Michigan quarterback Chad Henney. Chad Henney out of the University of Michigan. He's still one of those big, strong, tough quarterbacks. Has an outstanding arm. He can stand in there under pressure and make the throw. Tight ends in motion here. First down at the 20. Inaccurate with that one. Now for the lineups on offense for this unit to shine today, it would like to involve it does six foot six tight end Mercedes Lewis. Well, they should involve Lewis when you're six foot six and you can run and you can catch the football. You must find ways to get it to him. I think they will here today. Let's take a look at the defensive starters. Reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. They've come out in the dime package. Chad Hitty from the shotgun. Underneath and incomplete that time. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. We'll see what he can do here. They'll mark him at the 41. First down on the way. Two tight ends on the field here. Keeps it here. Roethlisberger going down the field. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. 
Second down and 10. Play fake. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger. He brings it in. Indianapolis is in the end zone. Touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient, or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return to kickoff. And this will be coming out to the 20 as he thinks better of running it out of the end zone this time. First down, offense readying for the snap. Offense lines up here. Here's the handoff and no running. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Second down. It's second down now. Right around three minutes remaining before halftime. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Good piece of tackling. Third and two here after the run. Chad Henney will take it right from the center. Handoff and a run right up the middle. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. And so now the call on anger to punt the football. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. And so now the call on anger to punt the football. Going to try his luck here. Gains 15. A player is down on the field, and the training staff comes out, and we'll step aside for just a moment. First down coming up. Offense lines up here. This goes incomplete. Jim, you look at drop passes in the NFL, it's almost always for the same reason. They take their eyes off the football, the receivers, just before it gets there. And when you do that, that little bit of lack of concentration will cause you to drop the pass. Second and ten. Screen makes the reception. They get to him just in time, one yard shy of the first down. And Phil, you look at this offense right now, they've got a quarterback who's moving the football through the air, and that's a big reason why they're leading this game. And th th that's right, that's why they're leading the game. Boy, I'd hate to be a defensive back out there today. The wide receivers are good, the quarterback is hot, they've got awesome rhythm, and that's why they're playing so well. The Colts will take the snap from the 35. Did not get both feet down. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. We have a review coming from the booth. There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must must maintain possession of the football the play, as you go to the, the ground. On the field is reversed. Well, it was called one way on the field, but now inside of two minutes, it was a booth review, and the call is overturned. I think if you left it up to the coaches, they'd like the, the booth to review them all, Jim, because put all the pressure on the officials in the NFL. That's what it's there for, to overturn bad calls on the field. He's in for the touchdown. Well, when the offense goes in there and scores again to increase their lead, it's got to give a lot of confidence to the defense. Now can they go out there and do their job? The Jaguars 
just can't stop them here before the half. And now they'll await for the kickoff, facing a sizable deficit. The scores, 21 to 0. Smartly takes a knee in the end zone. Another series coming up for Henney and company. Nickel formation for the defense here. here First down at the 20. The defense gets the sack. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Chad Henney from the gun. Gets it out for the completion. The Jaguars are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. They bring in the extra tight end. Will run it. Here's the handoff. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And offense that time. Looking to make a difference. He's brought down. The Colts ready to take over the football. Offense lines up here. The Colts have it at the 39. Deep down the field to Bo. He caught it. And they are in on Bo. When you play man to man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. The Jaguars lined up in the nickel. First and 10. Keeps it on the play fake. No stopping them now. That's a touchdown. Keep being aggressive on the offensive side. That's what they did that time. That's why they scored. They kept going after it. The Colts with the PAT to come. An extra point is good. The Jaguars have really just been outplayed in every facet of this game. Really just looking for any sort of answer. The scores 28 to 0. It's Todman taking a knee, so this will come out to the 20. First down here. Hand off made. That's Wagner making the stop. It's now second down. That does it for the first half. Jaguars trail in this one. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Colts are dominating on the scoreboard right now when it comes to time of possession. The Jaguars haven't been able to control the pace and clearly, that's played a role in costing them quite a bit on the scoreboard. So let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. Colts opening drive. They'll go with their run here. And this run goes for a touchdown. That takes the lead up to seven. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. The Jaguars come onto the field for their next series. Chad Hitty will take it right from the center. The third quarter begins with this play. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Let's go now. Let's go. The Jaguars take it from the 23. Complete to Lewis. And that's Harris. 
Anderson in on the stop. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Now first and ten. Here's the handoff. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. They feed it to him one more time. Handing the ball off hasn't been something that's worked for either one of these teams today, Phil. Well, what you have to show on the offensive side, when you want to run the football, you got to show some determination. And the guys on the offensive side just get tougher and make it work. Third and seven. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. The Jaguars call on the punting unit. Face first down. Two, two. Out of the shotgun formation. Roethlisberger going down the field. And Gratz nearly had the interception. Watching the ball fly deep down the field has been something we've grown accustomed to seeing today, Bill. And it's led to a bunch of big plays and touchdowns. It's so exciting to see the football thrown deep down the field and a guy catches it and runs for a touchdown. It's like going to a baseball game and seeing a home run. You're watching something special. And, Jim, we have seen that here in this game today. This will be second down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Offense lines up here. Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. The catch is made. Unstoppable. The 10 taking it all the way home for the touchdown. When you catch a touchdown pass like that, whatever pain you had, it is gone because the excitement of catching a touchdown will get rid of it. And a great job by the receiver being out, being hurt, comes back in and gets it done. Matt Prater is ready to run up and kick this football. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Another series coming up for Hinney and company. Yeah, Offense yeah, lines yeah. up here. First and ten. Takes it from the strong eye. That'll stop the play right there. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Here we go. Here we go. Second and nine. Gets the handle here. That brings the play to an end. Got to stay patient with the run game. That's what the offense is doing here. Even though they haven't had any big gains yet, there's a little short gain that time, but you're hoping to break one sooner or later. It's third down now. Right around three minutes remaining in the fourth. Let's go now. The final quarter begins with this snap. A takeaway. He stacked up at that point. Most NFL linebackers, their borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Nickel formation here for the defense. Split backfield here. First down at the 23. He'll fire it out to the left. Reaches the blowout. Continues. Another touchdown. Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. 
this changes how the other team is going to manage the game from here on out. The Colts have their defense to thank for those points. That interception setting up the score that the offense was able to finish off. They'll take it at the 20. The Jaguars now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. The defense comes out of the dime. Here we go. Here check, we go. Check, check. First down at the 20. They're going to get him here for a sack. It is without a doubt the worst place to get pressure up the middle on the quarterback. It happened that time, and he did the right thing. Just take the sack. On this go, passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Chad Henney from the shotgun. No room to complete that one. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. From the gun. And he's going to be sacked. So, just three plays and out for the offense. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. He's going to try and return this one. Muscles through the defender. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. What a good job by the punt returner that time. He caught it, didn't panic. He waited. He saw the blocking in front of him, made some good decisions, and a good punt return. Great starting field position for the offense. Split backfield here. The Colts come out with a split backfield. Looking to the right side and throwing. And that pass is denied by Ball. He did everything right, didn't he? The quarterback that time, he was physical. He stayed on the wide receiver. He was reading the quarterback. So it was easy for him to knock the throw down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. The Colts will take the snap from the 35. Launching it deep. And they score again here to pad the lead. I don't know, Tim, if they're ever going to stop them in this game, but that's not the offense's problem. They're leading big. They drove down again and got another touchdown. They are awesome today. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Ball is out. The kicking team recovers, and here they go. And he's brought to the ground. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kicking teams, the kickoff team this time, they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit, and it causes a fumble, and they recover. The Jaguars' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Almost intercepted that time. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. The Jaguars' defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and 10. That's a gain of 10. I don't even want to hear about it if they score here because they're running up the score. They're winning big. They're down near the goal line. They're probably going to run it. You know, on defense, you're allowed to compete too and stop. First and goal from the four. Keeps it here. Touchdown. They're just running it up. practice 
They spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. That's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. The Jags are ready to return the kick. And no return this time as he takes a knee. They come to the line, and it's first down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. At it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Second and ten. Complete, looking underneath that time. Well, these are the kind of throws in the NFL, Jim. You just take for granted that if it's open, you are going to hit it. But the quarterback makes a big mistake, leads the receiver too far to the inside, and it goes incomplete. Third and ten. Looking to go down the field here, almost intercepted. Whoa, the quarterback took a big sigh of relief after that throw. That pass was close. It was nearly picked off. And sometimes you just gotta gotta make a better decision at the quarterback position. He's got a chance to return this one. Nice tackle. The Colts now start their drive at the 40. The Jaguars come out in the nickel. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Here's the long throw by Roethlisberger. Clutch catch. They are winning at the moment, and they can thank the play of their quarterback. How about that? Even the fans are going to be happy with the way he played today. They're not going to be able to write anything bad about him because everything he did was top-notch. Decisions, throws, movement in the pocket. What a great day. Throws the pass, and he's done it. With that touchdown, he now owns the record for passing touchdowns in a single game. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. Colts are ready to kick it away. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. Another series coming up for Henney and company. Split backfield here. Let's go now. One, 20. One, 20. First down at the 20. The defense gets a sack. Second down now. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. Black 35. Black 35. Complete to Lewis. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same, that I enjoyed spending these last <laughs> three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. they got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little time. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.